faculty of MBA department from Technia Institute of Advanced Studies. Today I am going to deliver a lecture on marketing feasibility. Another element which focuses on testing the market for the proposed action or idea is marketing feasibility. It examines issues like whether the product or service can be sold at reasonable price or if there is a marketplace for it. Market feasibility should answer the following questions. What market segment are you targeting? For many years, marketing specialists have segmented their target customers to understand who might buy a service or product. It does sound pretty easy, yet sometimes companies have fallen and continue to fall into a few pitfall when thinking about segmentation. One is that they just do not segment. Two, they confuse segmentation with demographics and three, many companies forget to ask themselves why they want to segment and what decision will be made based on the information they receive. Why would people buy the product or service? Most of the respondents would answer because of its high quality, its function, its price or the accompanying customer service. But what actually matters is really unique about what you are selling that makes people come to you. As we all know, it is always possible to find similar products and services. Next is who are the potential customers and how many of them are there? Suppose you have a business, you have a product or service and now you need someone to hear, see, feel that you are here and really ready to solve their problems for customers. The first step is to attract them, although this will not guarantee success for your business. However, it is the first step that you must take from your side as an entrepreneur. Next is, what are the buying pattern of these potential customers? A customer's buying behavior is largely governed by the needs, preferences and tests of the customers for whom the product service is ultimately purchased. Numerous patterns influence the buying behavior of the customers. Next is place or the location of purchase. Lot of customers prefer to purchase their preferred product by visiting various stores in different locations for comparing the prices and the offers. Another one is type of products to be purchased and quantity of purchase. This essentially implies an analysis of the type of product which a customer will want to purchase and in how much quantity. Apart from this, some additional questions also must be answered to understand marketing feasibility. These are, how and where will you sell the product or service? Who are your competitors including past, current and future competitors? What are the strengths and weaknesses of your competitors? What is your product or service competitive edge or advantage, etc. In above, essentially points out to the importance of conducting market research as part of your feasibility study. Market feasibility is an important part of the feasibility study when the plan of action deals with issues such as business expansion, new product or service launch, product development and starting up a business. So, I hope you must have understood the topic marketing feasibility quite well. Thank you.